Nico, I know it's never easy to talk in moments like this, but thank you so much for your time again. Um, I, I just want to go back to that moment that you hit 15 rounds on Inferno. Um, obviously, Vitality did manage to make that comeback in overtime. Do you feel like G2 potentially got a step ahead of themselves? Do you feel like you had actually closed out the map before you had? Uh, I think it's very hard for me to recall all the rounds, what happened. I know that like round on the 15 8 should have been ours. Four versus three, they're retaking B. Like that round, we have to win it 10 out of 10 times. No questions asked. Even if they make the best plays, like we cannot afford to lose those rounds. Obviously, we did not lose the map only because of that round. Uh, we still had uh, seven rounds to play, six rounds. But uh, I don't really know. I think uh, we were maybe just thinking too much of how they would react to our rounds because we were going A a lot but losing rounds. So we kept hitting A and they just didn't seem to care that like they're gonna go back to B at some point. So me and like there was a couple of rounds that we rush A and we rush on two guys and uh, we just again lose somehow lose it. So I think just in general like I think we we're very sloppy in the late rounds. I think the communication was, was not the best, the team play was not the best, people were not uh, just we're not playing good at all today, and uh, I think that uh, it showed. You kind of alluded to it there, but we saw you on the T side of Inferno, really sort of pressuring towards the A side of the map. Was there a particular reason why, you know, in the later stages of that half, you weren't too comfortable uh, sort of trying to attack the B defensive vitality? Uh, yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, like we were just, we kept hitting A, but we also like kind of Thought like we have to win one round on A, you know, if you keep going there. But just somehow we felt like we always misplayed or they were in good setup. We also missed a couple of smokes as well, which you can't afford as well. So I don't really know. And then like even when we switched in overtime, we tried to go B. I think we had like okay success fighting B, but then again once we go into the B side, it was just very messy. We were not uh, taking the space properly. So just like very sloppy ECS by us, I would say. And obviously. They got the momentum at some point and uh, it was just easier for them to play and uh, we just couldn't find an answer to their game. I'm sure like every other team, you are going to be looking onwards towards the RMR as well because it is uh, very close in terms of the calendar. Obviously, you guys are going to be staying here in Malta. What is kind of the practice regime going to be going into that tournament considering how close it is? Uh, I don't really know. I think obviously we're going to take a day off tomorrow uh, to see to watch the games, to see what I'm wrong, what we can improve on, uh, add some things that we have been missing, uh, fix the smokes. <laughs> and uh, obviously Monday, I think uh, we should be able to practice a couple of maps, focus on the opponent that we're going to be playing uh, on the first day, which is ecstatic, if I'm not mistaken. And then there, like, we just need to find a switch in our head that it's a new event starting. It's, uh, I mean, I don't need to mention how important the RMR is. So we just need to find a switch in our head and uh, be really, really focused on the next tournament as soon as possible. Well, Nico, I know it's never easy in situations like this, but really appreciate your time. Looking forward to seeing what GT will be delivering in the RMR.